does the OPCW verify that member states are complying with the Chemical Weapons Convention and only using chemistry for peaceful purposes? Chemical weapons still exist, and chemicals produced for industrial and other legitimate purposes also could be used as weapons. Due to the Chemical Weapons Convention, the OPCW verifies that member states are only using chemicals for peaceful purposes. The verification regime is a key feature of the Chemical Weapons Convention, and one which sets it apart from many other treaties. These are practical steps that allow the Technical Secretariat to verify impartially and independently whether member states are complying with the Convention. The findings of the verification process are used by the OPCW's governing bodies to decide whether a member state is in compliance and, if not, determine possible measures to redress the situation. The Convention requires all member states to make declarations to the OPCW, both when they join the Convention and then annually. Member states need to declare within strict time limits any stockpiles of chemical weapons, as well as certain types of chemicals and the chemical facilities where they are produced or used. The OPCW provides guidance and tools to member states to ensure their declarations are comprehensive and accurate. Based on the declarations of member states, the OPCW devises, with strict impartiality, a program of inspections. Each year, the sites to be inspected are selected through an algorithm, but typically countries with large chemical industries receive more inspections. Inspections are carried out by teams of highly trained personnel, such as analytical chemists, munitions experts, chemical engineers, and health and safety experts. They travel to member states all over the world to conduct routine and non-routine inspections. Routine inspections make up the bulk of the OPCW's inspection program and include visits to military or chemical industry facilities. OPCW inspectors verify the accuracy of the declarations made by the member state and that relevant chemicals are only being used in a way that does not violate the rules of the Chemical Weapons Convention. OPCW teams also inspect chemical weapons production storage and destruction facilities to ensure that they are converted or destroyed pursuant to the Convention. Inspections are kept as short as possible in order to minimize the impact on facility operations. OPCW inspectors share their preliminary findings with the Member State within 24 hours before submitting a final report. The report and any comments from the Member State are considered by the Director General who may request clarification from the member state about any uncertainties. If they remain unresolved, the issue is referred to the Executive Council. The OPCW also undertakes a wide range of non-routine deployments. For example, in the event of the use or suspected use of chemical weapons, an investigation into alleged use, IAU, may take place. The Technical Secretariat has also deployed fact-finding missions technical assistance visits, and other investigation teams in recent years. Science and technology underpins all of the OPCW's verification and inspection activities. The OPCW laboratory is at the center of a network of excellence that includes over 20 OPCW-approved laboratories worldwide that are involved in analyzing collected samples. Learn more at opcw.org.